temperature now is, you know, it's not 60 degrees, but it's 59.8, which is pretty darn close. It's pretty much at 60. Let's set it down to 20 again. It's, it's slower going down, so... Uh, so, uh, it's on its way down to 20, which, as I said, is a little slower than going up, but it's still pretty fast. Here's an example of some measurements we made on a synthetic DNA using ocean optics equipment. So we have an ocean optics UV source, and we have one of your old USB 2000 spectrographs. So we picked a synthetic DNA. It's called PolyDAT. It's a synthetic polymer. And we set up the ocean optics software to uh, repetitively measure the absorbance. And we set up our software to change the temperature. You can see that we got a very clean transition. And so let's do a ramp. Well, we're pretty close to 20 degrees right now. So to do a ramp, all you need to do, you can go up to temperature ramping. Let's do, say, 3 degrees per minute. Uh, let's go up to 50 degrees, doesn't matter where we go to, and say OK. When we say OK, it will change those parameters. And you can see that we're off on a linear ramp now. It's, it's ramping the temperature at, at uh, 3 degrees per minute. Uh, I want to mention that all of our products have a uh, standard two years warranty. We don't mess around. If it comes in, we'll get to it immediately. If it's our problem, something that went wrong, we will fix it for free. We expect the customer to send the unit to us, and then we pay to ship it back. If they turn on the equipment and it doesn't work due to some shipping problem, then we give them a number and they ship it back for free. We're not going to make them ship it back. It's not working. We fix it immediately. Typically what happens is somebody will spill something horribly caustic on it and dissolve part of it. Um, and what we do in a case like that is that we will repair it and only charge what it costs us to repair it. And finally, I want to point out that uh, if somebody buys the QPod 2E as a system for motion optics, you really will end up with a temperature controlled spectroscopy system that's as good or better than what you can buy for an awful lot more money from other sources. I'm pretty sure I'd be looking at over $20,000, maybe as much as $25,000 to do it. So what we're really offering is a very sophisticated spectrometer for really a much lower price. For more information, please visit us online at oceanoptics.com and tune in again next time to spectroscopytv.com. You can also contact us via email at info at oceanoptics.com.